Hello everyone, welcome back to AV Cyber Active. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of cybersecurity and take a closer look at the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator. And then, we'll explore how it can be utilized in a use case to analyze and understand a common cyber threat, that is phishing attack. But before we begin, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and for more insightful content on cybersecurity and technology. This is the second video for MITRE and if you are new to my channel, I'll say you watch my first video on MITRE ATT&CK framework where I explain the basics and the different tactics and techniques for this framework. So MITRE ATT&CK Navigator is a tool by MITRE Corp released the updated version last year that helps you do a basic navigation and annotation of attack techniques. I saw a lot of people doing this kind of layer comparison with matrices in Excel, which is great, but MitreCorp has a free purpose-built tool for this purpose. Now we head down to mitreattack.github.io. I'll leave the direct link for your convenience down below. So this is what the attack navigator looks like by default. They also have a version for mobile attack as well. After you load this page, it will automatically show enterprise attack, which if you recall is the kind of how the adversaries get in and what they do after they've gotten in. So you'll be pretty familiar with this view. Now it's the attack matrix that across the top that we have these tactics. These are the adversaries technical goals and under each of these are these tactics. We have techniques. Now, how those adversaries achieve the goals in a navigator, we have this object called a layer. And that's right, it's just a way that we can capture different information about these techniques. So I'm going to go and walk you through with these different buttons we have across the top. And then I'm going to take you into a use case for navigator based on a threat intelligence. So let's dive in. First control we see that is locking multi-tactic technique selection. So what's a multi-tactic technique? You'll see in attacks some techniques like, for example, access token manipulation falls under multiple tactics because it's a multi-tactic technique. And by default, Navigator will select both of these techniques across the tactics. But you might say, well, I only want to select one of them. Cool. Navigator gives you that option. Say I just care about access token manipulation under privilege escalation or defense evasion. Easy enough, we can have that search menu here. For example, if you want to see all techniques mentioned registry, so you can do a quick search for registry and those will pop up here. You can also do multi-select. So this allow you to select either groups of software, which if you recall from my first video, we have pages in our tag site where MitreCorp goes through opening source reporting and gets examples of different groups and softwares using the attack techniques. Really important to note here is that this is not an all comprehensive, right? MITRE can't possibly map everything these groups have ever done or we don't have that visibility, but they can take a sampling based on a limited open sourcing reporting and map it in the navigator. We can select different techniques that the group or software pages we have an attack. So we can go ahead and select, for example, copy these and deselect those. Next up, the deselect, right? If I have techniques selected, I want them not to be selected anymore. Pretty self-explanatory. Next up, we have the layer controls. Navigator works in layers for information. So a good analyst will always give context about what they're doing to help keep a track. I'll add a name for this and I'm going to name it, say, call uh, APD3-29 comparison and I'm going to give it some cool description about what I'm doing so that other analysts who look at this will know what I'm doing or what I mean. You can also download layers behind the scenes. This is being built on JSON. So let's say you want to take your layer and export it to another structure format or another tool. Great. You can download the layer as JSON. You can also export your layer to everyone's favorite tool Excel. And I get a lot of requests for people who say, hey, I just love a matrix in Excel. And this is a great way to do that. We all have PowerPoint presentations where we have to make those presentations, maybe one image of the navigator to include in your presentations as well. Next, 
You can also render your layer to SVG and image type and then you can also include it in your presentation to make yourself look cool and organized. We can also filter here. Maybe you want to select only Linux techniques or Mac techniques. That's also possible. This is also where if you want to focus on a pre-attack technique, if you recall pre-attack is left of what exploit what do the adversaries do before they have gotten in. You can select prepare and then act is enterprise attack, which is what we are we have up right now. Next, you can change how you sort the techniques and may want to alphabetically or reverse alphabetically or in terms of these uh, scores ascending or descending. It's totally up to you. You can toggle that here. You can also set up colors here now. For example, maybe you, I want to change this tactic robe background to a different color because green is my favorite color. So you can do that here. Moving along, we have this toggle view mode. You know, by default, you will see a full technique names, full tactic names, or maybe just I want just want to see the first letters of those. I just want to see these rectangles. So if I want to visualize something, you know, it is simpler way. So you can toggle that here. Going into the technique controls we have, maybe I want to disable certain techniques. You know, I don't want these to be in my view at the moment. I can go ahead and click toggle state and it'll gray it out and it won't be a part of my view at that moment. And then there was a separate button to show and hide or maybe even disable. I don't want it to be grayed, so I just want it out of my view. I click the show or hide disabled and it'll pop back up depending on what you want. Next is the background color. Let's say access token manipulation, you know, your team knows that this is a technique we have covered and have no coverage for this in the uh, defensive evasion. So we can go ahead and make that as red. You can also give it a score, you know, so let's say this is of a high priority one. So we give it a score of a zero or one or two, whatever you've decided for your team. You can also put a comment. So, you know, maybe you want everyone to know we need to focus on this so you can add a comment. And when you do that in the navigator, this yellow underline is going to pop up on your technique. So that's how you know that there's a comment in there. And then there is clear annotations. So you need uh, your selected techniques and say, OK, access to manipulation. We want to clear that one easy one here. Now let's see how to create layers using navigators specifically for threat intelligence. Now, say for example, you want to compare two threat intelligent uh, groups. So I'll create a new layer. Click on the new layer. It'll bring up the menu. I am looking to compare between say APD3. So I'll select all of those. Everything gets selected. I'll name it uh, APD3. Okay. okay. And then uh, create another layer new layer and uh, call it uh, apt 29 <clears throat> all right easy and go ahead and select apt 29 so let's see over here now what you can also do uh, for apt3 let's say for example i want to give them a scoring so all apt3 should get a score of uh, one so everything gets highlighted in one depending on the color scheme that you have selected over here and apd29 let's say i'll select again apd29 and give it a color See yellow. Now I want to compare now both of these. So I'll uh, create layers from layers. So if I click over here, you'll see A, B, and C gets highlighted. And uh, coloring, we can choose those. Uh, these are all over here. So we want to just uh, compare between B and C. So score expression. I'll go back here, check and see. I think. Uh, 
scoring over here let's give it a score of uh, three or two depending on your need okay now i'll give it a score expression as a sorry that'll be b plus c and create a layer now you'll see something interesting has happened um this one is a combination so a p t 3 plus a p t 29 got highlighted over here <clears throat> now you'll see both of them are highlighted over here um we don't know what is what but you will see interesting enough there is score one if you remember score one was for apt3 and we gave a score two for ap29 but if you'd see some of them have a score of three that is because this is common between both of them now we're not interested in seeing uh, ones and twos we're just interested in seeing what's common between apt3 and apt29 so what we're going to do here is uh, choose a color setup so say for example for the lower if it has a score of one we're just going to select green for that uh yellow for if it's somewhere in the middle and i'll go with the color red now you'd see something interesting has happened here the green are the ones which have score one yellow are the ones which are only exclusively to apt 29 and green are the ones exclusively for apt 3 but the red ones are for apt 29 this is really interesting say these scores of three which are the techniques both have used in red so that's a great place for you to start you know you would want to pass these to your defenders or your analysts say hey guys these are the two groups we care about and here are the techniques they are going to do and it's a very simple tool to help you visualize the attack and use the attack so i hope this was helpful to you as a starting place to get you started with the attack uh, navigator so that's an overview of the navigator controls so now i want us to dive into a use case specifically for threat intelligence we'll take a simple one and that's the most requested mitre attack framework today that is phishing now let's have a look at a typical email spam mail mail content here is asking you to click on uh, like a facetime verification from an unknown domain and is delivered to your email address or asking you to go to a different website let's see what's exactly is happening here here an attacker has identified the list of victims they will harvest their email addresses and then set it up for phishing website and now needs to lure the victims to the phishing website to achieve this attacker carefully crafts a phishing email then the attacker sends out this email to the pre-harvested email addresses and then points them to the attacker and waits for the victims to click and take the bait and sign on to the phishing website once they attempt to sign in the attacker has their credentials to log in this is very dangerous you know now let's plot this attack on mitra attack matrix and let's see how this looks so the malicious actor gathers victims information in this case email address and sets it up for phishing service then creates a link to that service sends it and in email phishing containing the link to all the accounts attacker targets this by obtaining access to these cloud accounts so once the user goes and logs into the cloud accounts the attacker will display some simple looking message like verification failed or something like that and now the bad actor has access to the credential that they were trying to capture on in that login session so in this example if you notice that it is not necessary for an attacker to use every technique in the matrix in fact to get their job done they will try to use the minimum number of techniques required so that there could be iterations between those techniques as well so when mapping an attack to a mitre framework you would something you would do something like this this is important here you know the attacker first uses technique to identify the target and uses a sub technique to craft phishing email hence recon tactic was performed here same goes for resource development technique to harvest email accounts get the initial access by phishing technique and by delivering malicious link sub technique i hope that was clear
and thank you for joining us today and we have explored today the mitre attack navigator in the context of phishing use case by understanding the tactics and techniques used by attackers we can better prepare and defend against cyber threats if you found this video helpful don't forget to like give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also hit the notification bell for more content stay vigilant stay secure and i'll see you in the next video bye now